Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to video one of Turkey. We are in Istanbul, uh, our 15th country that we visited this year. Uh, we're at our apartment, as you can see in the background, uh, first floor apartment, burglar bars, a lot of noise, people walking by. Um, we had a rough first day. You know, we uh, stopped at the airport. We were not sure what to expect. We were uh, reading that there's high, uh, big big lines and immigration line to get through. It only took us 12 or 13 minutes, so that wasn't bad. But then we had problems catching our cab uh, that was allegedly um, arranged by the host. Uh, so uh, finally found it after roaming around for about an hour, hour and a half. So we had a bad, bad first night experience. Um, we, um, found out that the ATMs are a uh, complete ripoff at the airport, uh, charge outrageous fees. And uh, the uh, YouTube vlog tip of the week, uh, read reviews for restaurants. Don't just go by the rating. I, I think they got to be manipulated because we went to a really horrible restaurant that was rated 4.5. It was a tourist trap, uh, outrageous uh, prices. Uh, so, uh, being in Turkey, this is about the time that we're here where uh, the uh, Middle East troubles are going on uh, between Israel and the Palestinians. So, they're expecting a lot of protests here, so we don't know uh, what to expect here. There's uh, military helicopters flying overhead. There, you got police presence all over the town here. They're expecting protests. So, uh, we're not sure, you know, how it's going to go here. Uh, but we feel safe walking around, let's just say. Uh, we feel very safe. Uh, we tried using Uber. We thought it works here, but uh, apparently it doesn't. There's another tax, uh, taxi app that's called BiTaxi, B-I-T-A-K-S-I. We're going to try using that, see how that goes. And uh, enjoy the video. We'll have more to come. We're here in Istanbul for uh, 10 nights, and then we uh, fly out to... Um, Antalya on the west coast uh, and don't forget to subscribe please we're in Istanbul folks our 15th country this year and uh, that was a pleasant experience would you not say with Turkish Airlines that is um, pretty good yeah it was a short flight only about an hour they cost us, us a meal. yeah they gave us a meal like a full-blown meal oh, it was uh, uh, a tray they brought us with a uh, cheese and tomato cucumber sandwich, a salad, pudding, anything you wanted to drink. $301 about U.S. Lots of leg room. Pleasant people. So trying to figure out how to get through immigration now. I just hit the ATM here. So much money's worth. Um, I did 15,000 lires. I wasn't sure. At first I did 20,000. And then I got the ding from Chase, or from uh, Schwab, saying I withdrew 700, almost $800. Money never came out, so we got to make sure we don't get debited for that. And then I said, whoa, that's a lot of money. So then I did 15,000, which is like 500 and something U.S. dollars. And that's what we got. Show it again. We got a stack of 75 or 200 lires. A uh, little culture shock here if you're not used to it, but when I'm in the washroom, some guy was washing his feet in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> that did not happen in the girls' room. Yeah, so, you know, don't uh, splash water in your face from the sink when you're at strange places. All right, we got to find our ride now, our luggage. And I gotta, first. And I got to stuff uh, 75, $200 bills in my pocket. Very beautiful modern airport here and everybody's zipping around in uh, scooters even the wheelchairs they zip around and they stand on the back of it and there's the first Popeye's chicken I've seen in Europe Burger King here this uh, is a fairly new airport it's got all the amenities very nice we're looking for our ride now. It's supposed to it, uh, cost us about fifty dollars U.S. And we're offline, and we got some problems uh, finding our ride to our Airbnb. Don't 
think I'll be renting a car here. This <laughs> is crazy. It's like jam packed with people. Be scared and our driving through here. Driver honks his horn and plows through here. We're in our apartment in Istanbul. This is the front door. We got this place through Agoda, agoda.com. And I believe this is the first time, Christine, that we went through Agoda. It is. Yeah, and it, it, not really Agoda's fault that they jacked us around at the airport and didn't have our ride ready. Uh, but uh, this cost us $1,045 US for 10 nights. Kind of an unusual setup here. Uh, this. Uh, Show you the outside if I can get the curtains open here. It's like a little tight street with cobblestones. The uh, main place is next door, and we walk through here. And then she let us in through the door. This is the dining room area, living room area. And we're in the Workstation. Galata neighborhood. Which Galata? Is, yeah. Galata which neighborhood. It's supposed to be like the most you know where most of the attractions are walkable everything yeah I definitely don't want to get a car in this area no. there's the kitchen looks like everything we need and like I said a little unusual setup uh, this just looks like closet space and you walk through here Bathroom to the right, then big king size bed. So, um, at the airport, I hit the ATM. I looked at my receipt. I think it's kind of a ripoff. They charged me fifty-four U.S. dollars for uh, withdrawing about five hundred dollars U.S.C. Uh, actually, I mean uh, five hundred dollars worth of. Uh, Turkish lire, which is the stack of 200s that you saw. So um, they charged me like 10% juice, and I hope I get that money back from Schwab. And I know there was, it's not, it wasn't a conversion because I always talk about, you know, don't hit the conversion, don't agree to the conversion. It just, it was a, um, just their service fee. When I hit no, it kicked my ticket back, uh, my card back. So uh, I had to agree to the fifty-four dollars. So I have to, and I got to contact Schwab, make sure the first withdrawal didn't go through sure. for seven hundred and something. I got no receipt, no money, just a ding on my phone that I withdrew seven hundred eighty dollars because that's uh, being expensive. First night here in Turkey, if that was the case. But uh, the host didn't uh, charge us for the ride here because of all the confusion. And again, hashtag. Travel day sucks. <laughs> oh, this is what look, looks like right outside of our apartment. And we got to jump out of the way. This reminds me of Morocco. There's parts of France. You got to jump out of the way when the cars are coming. I'm trying to find a good restaurant to go eat. Oh, you like it here? I am so far. I mean, I don't particularly want to get run over, but the area is Yeah, it's uh, not what you normally see, you know, uh, living in our cocoon somewhere. <laughs> so, it's a uh, pretty, pretty cool place. Christine loves it because of all the roving cats again. We're seeing cats everywhere. There's some kind of large building, maybe a mosque or something here. We had some civilization here. Bunch of shops. It's 9.15 at night on a, on a Tuesday. Yeah, 9.30 Tuesday night. Hello. <laughs> this place. What is that? Goonie. It's a Turkish restaurant. Oh, Goonie? I'm trying to figure out what this place is. What? Galata Tower? Galata 
think this is where Christine wants to eat, but this, uh, I don't see an open table. It's a Turkish place, Goonies. The Goonies, Goonie, rated very high. Christine got a glass of wine. I got a herbal buttermilk drink, which is dew, basically. Right outside of this tower. A lot of tower. And we got cats walking around all underneath our feet here. We are clearly in a very popular area here. Yeah, and this is uh, Tuesday after 9.30 p.m. It's uh, rocking and rolling here. Christine ordered some kind of chicken dish. Uh, yeah, chicken and cheese and spinach and a bechamel sauce. And I ordered a uh, lamb liver onions fried. Your meal, Christine. Uh, it was good. Uh, I enjoyed the dish the waiter recommended, but it needed something else on the side or something to go How with many it. stars? Oh, uh, four for sure. Four? Okay. Service yeah. fast, super nice. Thank four you for, for me. Our, yeah. Two. Good good service. Good ambiance right outside this place. Great ambiance. And uh, the bill was uh, I'm leaving nine hundred Turkish lires from eight fifty one because I already had a ten percent tip. So uh, that's about 32 bucks. The liver and onions were pretty good. And the cheese. Yeah. But we didn't have big portions. No. I mean, it's not terribly cheap. Just the price was okay. So yeah, 4.0. Picking up a few things from the market. Hello. Hello. No skinny cats here. Well, they have the Red Bull. Mm-hmm. Cat in the box. Cats in the box. Cats on motorcycles. And I'm about to get hit by a car. Look out. Another cat on the motorcycle. Somebody laid out food for his cat? Yeah. And uh, let me tell you, T-Mobile does not work too well here no. at all. No. We got a, well, Christine already broke down and got a SIM card, another e-SIM card. So That's, far, I haven't been able to make it work yet, but. Yeah, we haven't been able to make that work. We got to give them a call. That's that e-SIM again from which company was that? Is this us? What company was that? Aerolo. Aerolo that we used in Bulgaria, but it's not working yet. We're going to have to. Give you an update on that. I suspect it's user error, but I will figure it out tonight. Yeah. First full day in Istanbul, and uh, we're actually looking for a SIM card today because the uh, e SIM's not working at all here from Airlo that worked very well in Bulgaria. So we got our $18 refund allegedly uh, being processed from Airlo. Hello, doggy. <laughs> and, um, Gotta avoid these uh, vehicles again. So uh, we're walking around. This is probably the worst weather we've had on our trip so far. Yeah, but actually, I enjoy it. It's a bit refreshing. Yeah, it's in the uh, mid 60s with a possibility of rain today. So we'll let you know if we run into anything cool. All kinds of stores along here. Clothing store, cafes, baklavas. We found uh, most people speak English. And it's getting a little warm in the sun. Turning out to be a good day. We see uh, cruise ships in the bay way back there. Is that the Persian Gulf? Where are we at? Mediterranean. Did Mediterranean? Mediterranean, yeah. My mom said the Black Sea hits here somewhere too. So, let's see what this is here. A lot of hustle and bustle here. We gotta figure out public transportation. And uh, Uber is good here. I think they, uh, from what we can see, they hook you up with a taxi cab, which is a good way not to get ripped off. Uber app. And they have some kind of taxi app too. 
uh, for uh, different rideshare apps. And you look in the background, see all kinds of mosques, buildings, and the water's right here. I think this is the Bay of Marmora, which leads into the Mediterranean, and uh, the Black Sea's on the other side of the town. We did confirm this is the Sea of Marmar. And look at all the people fishing up here. Elbow to elbow people fishing. Looks like you can't fish from the bottom. Nobody's fishing from the lower tier. So we got a SIM card from uh, Mitophone. We tried to get it from uh, Turk. Turk Cell which was uh, very highly rated and uh, he couldn't get the phone to work. The guy at Vitaphone did. So uh, we, uh, we got that, it cost us 25 US equivalent and it's good for a month, uh, something like 20 gigabytes with uh, unlimited phone calls. This is what it looks like here. I don't see anybody catching any fish, but fishing must be good here. Everybody's got a line out. We're at uh, Gala Orfa's Dali, and they bring the stuff up and ask us what we want. Yeah, that's a giant that's shrimp, a giant shrimp. <laughs> kink with uh, lobster and all kinds of fish. Um, or I think we're just going to look at the menu, see what we like. So the menu, very expensive here. The uh, lobster was 402 bucks yeah, in the U.S. I said turkey was cheap. Live. Yeah, it's not cheap here in Istanbul, but uh, hopefully this is going to break the bank here. We'll see. Christine got a glass of wine. I got the Dool again, the yogurt drink. Dolmas. Eggplant. Some bread. We ordered a mixed uh, grill platter. Let's see how it is. Got the meat platter. It looks good, but like I said, very expensive. Um, right by the water. And uh, the one of the local guys here told us no casinos at all in Turkey. <laughs> Brought us some dessert. Hopefully we're not paying for this. We'll find out soon. Hey, how many stars for this place, honey? Galata Oro's Balance. Three two. Three point two? So I thought the service was outstanding. The food was math mostly and the price is exorbitant. I gave him a 2.0. Two go. thumbs down. Price Fair is enough. outrageous. Yeah. Uh, this meal cost us $110. It should have been like 25 bucks. The food was mediocre. Uh, they had a 15% uh, surcharge and then he asked for a tip. Yeah. I said, what's the surcharge for? He goes, oh, that's management. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Views nice. Views um, wonderful and service was I mean, we never ordered water. They, they charged us for water. How much? I don't remember what it was. But. So he asked if we wanted free Turkish coffee on him. And I only said yes uh, just to uh, get my, at least my money's worth. And I'm not sure if he's going to bring it out because I told him I wasn't going to give him a tip. I actually gave him a... Uh, a hundred lira tip, which is like three dollars or some change. I felt bad. Oh, this is a Turkish tea or coffee. I mean, thank you. The uh, service is great, but just definitely two thumbs down. This is a tourist trap. Make sure you look at the prices. I mean, they bring the food trays out and uh, they ask you if you want any of the fresh fish. I mean, if you don't know any better, you get the lobster, it would have been over four hundred dollars US for a little lobster like that. Yeah, it was a good size. Still. Still There's a thing. Turkish tea. Thank you. So that's it. Uh, that and it's got a it has a four point five on Google review. Yeah, I have to say that's a little shocking. So I, it's a little suspicious because I must be uh, manipulating that somehow. But I just got on Google Map or Google Review gave them a two point oh. Uh, so lesson learned because yeah. I looked it up. I saw a four point five and a whole bundle of reviews. So 
know. Yeah, and I should have known better. I looked at the prices before we sat down. But uh, you look at different uh, sources like TripAdvisor and what are the other ones that have reviews? I, I don't remember the few. But They're, just don't go by one. But, but this this place horrible. Home. Not recommended at all. This is the top of the bridge where the people were fishing on that end. Now we were on the bottom where the restaurants are. And uh, I have to tell you, they're just catching minnows. Didn't see one good sized fish. Now we're just wandering around. $110 poor from that lousy meal. Yeah. 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 There's a row of fishermen on this side of the bridge. Nobody in the middle. Really windy out too. Just saw one guy pulling up a minnow. Other than that, nobody's catching anything. No wonder the price of fish is high here.
Got me a corn from a street vendor. Cost 25 lires, which is equivalent to 90 cents. Yummy. Heading back to our apartment, trying to figure out how to catch a cab. An area to catch a cab. Otherwise, it's about a 40 minute walk. We don't know how to use the bus system here yet. Met a couple of uh, policemen exchange patches. Very personable. Wow, that was a trip with that cab. Um, bumper to bumper traffic all the way, driving crazy, almost running over people and motorcycles. Driving backwards? Driving backwards because the road was closed. Uh, motorcycles riding up on the sidewalk and we negotiated a price of 300 lires. A uh, hundred lires about like almost four bucks, I think. Three dollars and seventy-five cents, something like that. So uh, 300 lires. He wanted the first guy, that, the first cab wanted 20 euros. He's out of his mind. Uh, Uber showed like a hundred lires. And then this cab driver told us Uber doesn't work here. That so explain why nobody picked up the ride. Yeah, no wonder no we didn't get a ride, but and it worked at the airport. Here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the scoop is with Uber here. So I told Christine, I don't want to take another cab ride till we gotta to go to the airport. That was just too hectic. We gotta figure out public transportation and walking. Uh, and negotiating with uh, I don't like that negotiating a price. So I, he actually dropped us off a few minutes from our apartment because I told him we need to go to a, a grocery store. There. And the grocery store, he pointed this way. Yeah, I have no idea. A couple hundred meters, so we're going to look for the grocery store before we go back to our apartment. But no more cabs for me.